morning, my darlings. Welcome to day five, possibly, of Vlogmas. Already lost track. So this morning, I have arisen in M Shell home, and we are just, we've had a bit of a nightmare, actually. I've been trying to order a taxi slash Uber slash gets for the last 45 minutes. Um, M did warn me that they were very hard to get, but I had, <laughs> hard to get, but I had no idea it was this challenging because I have got a very, exciting um, mission this morning. I'm heading over to um, London Bridge to the Alex Munro jewellery store. They are celebrating their 10 year anniversary and they've decorated the store all beautifully. You might remember last year, I'll pop the vlog up on the screen, I went to their gorgeous little boutique in um, Covent Garden and they always make their stores so beautiful, really tells the journey of the brand and just a great way of discovering their jewellery which is the most beautiful gift that you can get this Christmas. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of Christmas shopping over there. If I ever get there, um, <laughs> which would be- If you ever get there. If I ever I get. get there. Well, I was quite blown away upon entering the Alex Monroe store. So I thought I'd film a little voiceover. Here's the beautiful entrance at London Bridge. How incredible is this hand painted mural outside? This was created just in time for the store's 10th birthday. I was so entranced by the magical stories that I was told by Alex Monroe himself and also the store manager. You can't help but feel that every customer has such a special connection and relationship with the brand and the handcrafted pieces that they'll discover in the store. I couldn't possibly choose my favourite piece, but each year Alex Monroe creates a collection inspired by his passions, his interests, whether it's botany, florals, insects, or even tea parties. Of course, you'll find the iconic bumblebee necklace amongst intricate handcrafted designs, and they are so beautifully displayed on the hand-collected antiques. The initial necklaces have always been one of my favourite pieces from Alex Monroe, but every time I enter one of the stores, I discover a new obsession, and this time it was these gorgeous little delicate dandelion earrings and the floral bridal hairpins. Darlings, they've so kindly also extended a discount code, which is Josie15, if you would like an exclusive 15% off your beautiful Alex Monroe pieces. And now, let's get back to the vlog. Okay, so we made it into the store and this is actually the home of Alex Munro. So upstairs there, there are the workshops where they're crafting the jewellery pieces and tomorrow in fact is this store's 10 year anniversary. So it's really lovely to come here at such a special time. I said this last year but every time you enter the world of Alex Munro it's just like tumbling down a rabbit hole and you discover so many magical pieces. I'm going to show you a few of my favourites. So what I just absolutely adore about these stores is you never know what you're going to find. It's like going into the most magical antique shop. You never know if you're going to find a collection of old books, a looking glass, an ornate tool for crafting the jewellery pieces, old photographs, picture cabinets. It's so magical. And every jewellery piece has a story, every collection has a story, whether it's the Banquet collection. I was instantly drawn to this collection, which is the Haberdashery collection from 2014. You may know that the school that I went to was actually called Haberdashers, and of course my favourite subject was textiles. You've got these little scissors, a needle and thread love necklace, a needle and thread charm necklace. So beautiful. And I've just been hearing some really beautiful engagement stories. They've got the most gorgeous antique looking engagement rings, sapphire rings. Oh, they're all so spectacular. And of course, some of the iconic Alex Monroe pieces like the love charm bracelet. So you might remember last year they did the Designs for Hope competition. Well, this year they decided to run it again for under 17s. And here we have got the three winning designs. So Erin, age 10, designed this necklace here. Erin's bathing elephants necklace design, a pair of loving elephants come together in a rainforest spring, a reminder from a hopeful young person to treasure nature for future generations. The design was brought to life by Alex and the design team, handmade in sterling silver with certified, certified fair mind gold plated heart charm and a vibrant blue topaz splash. And then this necklace here with a party theme was designed by Raphael, age nine. Over the last year, he missed having parties, so he decided to design a party inspired necklace for his competition entry. He got little gifts slice of cake, a party hat, and then Lucy, age 14, she missed travel throughout the last year, 
So her earrings are inspired by the notion of traveling far, paper airplanes going through the clouds, an origami boat. So lovely. And the Design for Hope collection is all with the aim of boosting creativity in school children. So for every purchase, £40 will go to Make Bank. He'll provide these lovely little art sets for students. building and this is one of the, the studios where the pieces are made. Let's have a little sneak peek. Oh these little, they look like the top of acorns. Yes. So beautiful. So these are waiting to have their yeah. studs yeah, going in. So magical. As we said, the clear used to be the most desirable and now I'm just so drawn to the unusual colours. And that will be naturally coloured. Yeah, they're naturally Wow. Oh. That is seriously sparkly. Okay, darlings, finished up in the Alex Munro store. You might be thinking, what on earth have you got on your face, Josie? Well, of course, masks are mandatory in the UK again now, and I only remembered this while I was in the car yesterday. So this is um, one of Charlie's masks, and it's absolutely ginormous, but never mind, better safe than sorry. So what a magical experience in the Alex Munro store. That was my first time visiting their one in London Bridge, and it really is just, you're tucked away behind in these little side streets. Um, and it's just, as soon as you step in to the iconic, what would you call it, like a sagey, mint green store, you are instantly in the world of Alex Munro. I just love hearing the stories. That's why I filmed a voiceover, because as soon as I get in there, you just <laughs> hear all the stories of their, their customers and their journeys with the jewellery and the messaging and the, the stories behind all the different collections. It's just so easy to fall in love with the brand. 
so many gorgeous pieces once again and what a treat to be able to go upstairs and see where the pieces are actually being made that was such an honor and to see so many of the diamonds and the sapphires in those rainbow colors i learned a lot i learned a huge amount and i have of course come away with some beautifully wrapped goodies i will show you these properly a little bit later but a great start to the day and now I am whizzing up to Marlebone, heading back to Michael Van Clark. That's why I've not really done anything with my hair this morning because heading to Michael Van Clark with a haircut with the man himself, which is very exciting. Michael Van Clark, you might remember, is where I had my hair coloured last time and it was just such a magical experience. It's a really, really lovely place. I would highly, highly recommend. So we'll be there in a couple of minutes and I shall see you there. Hello, this is editing Josie here from the future. You might be able to guess from my current background where this vlog ends up. Um, but I realized when editing that I didn't actually show you my gorgeous goodies from the Alex Monroe store. So I'm going to give you a little unboxing um, and the pearl earrings I have been wearing all day and my gorgeous bracelet. That's not a bracelet, that's a ring. My gorgeous ring are also from Alex Monroe from various collections throughout the year. And actually my bracelet is also from um, the Fables collection from Alex Monroe. So, in my gorgeous little bags, first of all, how just magical is their Christmas wrapping. And what they actually did, you might have been able to see from the hyperlapse, is they printed uh, kind of like old fashioned newspapers, which you can see in scrolls on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the desk, filled with loads of facts and stories from the Alex Monroe brand, lots of little snippets about like gardening and horticulture, which Alex himself is a big fan of. So there is an open invitation there, Alex, to come to the Cotswolds because I'd love to show you our garden. Um, but then on the flip side of this newspaper, they have got this beautiful print, this woodland print. Um, and I, I said, oh my gosh, I wonder if you guys have got charms with these pieces because I spotted little oak leaves, little acorns, and they did. So this is one of his lovely new designs and of course much more sustainable. This can be completely recycled. Little pine cones, little red ribbons. So that just looks stunning. Um, I also learnt, I hope I'm allowed to even mention this, but I learnt that they are going to be using a lot more ocean diamonds. This is just an area that is so, so fascinating to me. Basically, um, there is this sustainable company called Ocean Diamonds and they source like chunks of diamonds from about a metre underneath the seabed. I believe they said um, in South Africa, off the coast of South Africa, but so incredible. A lot of the time they just have a really light kind of bluey tint to them um, from the minerals on the ocean bed. So that's coming soon. I think they do have a few bits in that collection already. They also have the most magical selection of bridal pieces. Obviously they do have engagement rings, which are stunning, beautiful, naturally colored, ethically sourced diamonds. They have got bridal jewelry like tiaras. I had hoped if I'd have had time to have done a little bit of a bridal hair trial at um, Michael Van Clark, but unfortunately time was of the essence yesterday. So I might do a little bit of trying styles out myself. Um, you won't have seen wedding dress clips yet, but potentially if I go quite big with my dress, I'll have to probably rein it in with my hair accessories. Um, but a little delicate clip I think could be fabulous. So this is the gorgeous Alex Monroe packaging in here, this beautiful green. And this is, after I saw the wrapping, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see your woodland collection. This is a little acorn on the oak leaf. You can see little natural charms here, feather. I'm not sure the significance of the alligator amongst the woodland charms, but he's a very cute little fellow. And that's just the most sweet little charm bracelet, a mixture of silver and gold. And they use fair mind gold as well. I learned that most gold and silver these days is recycled. So instead of just saying that they use recycled gold, they use fair mined gold. So they can be really confident that the entire production from um, where it's mined, how it's mined and mined by whom is all very ethically considered. And then as you saw in the Alex Monroe store, whatever your passion or whatever the passion of the person that you are purchasing for, you can find something that you'll be like, that set of earrings is so Josie, or those cufflinks are so Charlie, whatever your passion project, Alex Monroe has something 
for you. So I saw these little, um, you could say they're dandelion sporks, spawns, um, or cow parsley. I just thought they were the most sweet little earrings. So delicate, so dainty. And the, the tone of the gold, because it's quite natural, it's not too buffed and polished, looks quite antique which just gives it such a beautiful finish. And then, in my next little bag, dun 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 dun, where are Charlie's cufflinks? Ah, Charlie doesn't watch my Vlogmas videos, <laughs> so I can show you his Christmas present. I had to get the watering can cufflinks. He was only saying the other day that he only has really boring cufflinks. And as soon as I saw these, I was like, he is going to love them. They are just so sweet. And then last but not least, a potential Oh, the packaging of this, look at this. Such a, so different to like your typical high street jewelry brands. It's just got so much love and personality to everything that they do at Alex Munro. Um, and look at this. So in this absolutely spectacular gift box, we have got these incredible hair slides. So imagine having just loose tousled or tousled waves. Um, and then these just delicately pinning your hair back. You've got the florals, little dragonfly on there. A little bee as well, of course, the bee being very symbolic for Alex Monroe. You probably have seen the iconic bee necklace. And then this one, I think I might wear today, so you'll have to tune into tomorrow's vlog to see me styling this. It's just a very delicate um, clip. So anyway, yes, I just wanted to show you <laughs> the pieces because I realised I was in such a an overwhelmed state by everything that I was seeing. It's just like visual stimulation overload when you go into the stores. I would highly recommend it. By the time you see this video, it'll, it will have been that store's 10th birthday. Um, just such a magical brand and I love sharing it with you. So yes, anyway, back to the vlog. Okay, made it to Michael Van Clark. This is honestly my favorite hair salon. It's just got such an amazing vibe in here. It's so beautiful. They've got their festive decorations on the fireplace. And everywhere I have been so far today, including Alex Monroe, has had Christmas chocolates! Yeah. <laughs> Can't resist. Okay, so the main mission today is a nice little trim. My hair has been growing a lot lately. So we're going to take a couple of inches off and get it looking fabulous. Gosh, this is the level of service you get at Michael Van Clark. How fantastic! Thank you. I'll definitely take a mince pie. Wow! Thank you so much. I'll pop it on that and then grab it. shaping that will hopefully help me keep my curl better um, and yeah it was quite quite the experience he's done a fantastic job and he said that it should even if I don't style it it should look better even without um, without any heat on it so we shall see once I've washed it and styled it myself at home but I'm now joined with Lilla <laughs> we are both masked up in the back of a taxi and I haven't actually told Lilla where we are going next where do you think we're going Lilla? Regent Street. Regent Street, because I, I said to Lola we're going Christmas shopping. Well, actually, we are going to Philippa Lepley to try on a wedding dress. <gasps> <laughs> oh, or two or three. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a surprise. Oh, wow, that is just amazing. My first ever oh, wedding goodness. dress try on experience. Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd catch that on camera, very mean of me. So <laughs> heading to Philippa Lepley um, to do some wedding dress trying on. Gosh, I've gone all shiny. No, that's getting emotional. So we all see that.
Blowingly spectacular dresses. Fabulous. Today's session was just to, because I've never properly tried on wedding dresses before, to see what kind of shape suits me, what I feel fabulous in, what kind of materials. Um, so it was very, very eye opening. I think it was a very educational session. And I think that the shape that I thought I would like. I did, I did like, because some people say they go into a wedding dress shop and they say, oh, everything you think you like, you'll like the opposite. No, no, well, you didn't. No. <laughs> I didn't, I think I knew what kind of um, shape I would like. Um, so lots to think about, lots to think about. My hair is still half up, half down as a potential wedding style, style yes. So we were gonna go and get some food to mull it all over at Soho House, but I just remembered that Honest Burger have released their festive burgers. I think it's a brie and cranberry <laughs> oh. bun. Oh, mouth watering. So we're gonna head there. Delicious. And then I've got dinner. So this is dinner part one. Right. Because sometimes okay. you go to these festive dinners and they don't actually give you that much food. No. So I'd like to go already filled with burger. It's so very nice. Fun. Yeah. have got the infamous Honest Burger Christmas Burger with breaded brie and cranberry, the best chips in the world. So it's a few hours later, burger was absolutely delicious and I'm now at the location for my second dinner of the evening with my dinner date, Freddie, my husband. Oh, why am I always the husband? <laughs> It is now a few hours later. <laughs> you stood right in the gap. <laughs> oh, so cute. They're very cute. Where are they from? I don't know. My granny got them. Oh, <laughs> grannies always find the best slippers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, in case you couldn't tell, I'm now at Freddy's Apartment. It is so beautiful. The Maison Rosé. Maison, why Maison Rosé? Oh, because it's pink. House. Pink house. Look at this room. You've done such a fabulous job. Everywhere looks so gorgeous. It's nice because it has touches from my old bedroom at home. Yeah. Like some of these, like the Audrey mm -hmm. hats. And even my rail and my lamp and stuff like that. So, it's so beautiful. My favourite part though, this is Freddie's boudoir, where we are going to snuggle later. And I've been admiring, I can't believe Freddie's mama sewed these. Mm. Look at this beautiful, I don't know if you can see in the slide, it's like a silk dupion lining. I'm just in love with this. And her beautiful dressing table. And gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Marvel vanity up here, look at this. And then we can do petties later. <laughs> no, we're going to bed. But look at this gorgeous vanity. I just love the shape. When I last came here, you had like a piece of paper cut out to show the shape. Oh yeah, because my dad actually designed this. 
He's so clever. He even designed these little shelves, like these marble shelves. He's so shelves. clever. Look at my cat suit. Not a pussy cat. Oh, soap. Yeah, soap. I'd feel I really mean it. using but it. Exactly. I know. So cute. You need to get sausage dogs. <laughs> <laughs> every detail in this flat, as you would imagine, is just Freddy to a T. There's a swan in every room. You have to oh. spot it. Oh, I love that. Not finding Fenella, it's finding the swan. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Do you know that? Yes. What's in the night garden? What? There's a trap. has come to say goodnight. To say goodnight. Oh, I don't know the tune. Night. Time has come to say goodnight. It's the end of a lovely day. We've had so much fun today. Tomorrow's just a dream away. The time has come. Any of my followers who have got children will know that song. Yeah. It's a little baby's TV program. Yeah, in the night garden. Yeah, it's really Coco cute. Coco used to watch it, which is how I know oh, about it. Did you know? Because when Matt and Soph came over, Arthur was watching it. And it's still on. When it finished, he's so cute. He was like, he came up to Charlie, good night. And then everyone, good night. And then trotted off to bed. Oh, so sweet. Really He's a sweetheart. It's nice. by Terry. My Misala. Misala water. No, I'm spotty. What is your evening skincare routine? At the, at, do you know what? At the moment, it's not that inspiring. Oh. It's all very green. Oh. <laughs> As in, like, the packaging is That's all green. That's not very on brand. It's really I know, but it's just, I seem to have just been using all green products at the same time. Oh. So I'm taking off with this new, you know, the classic. With aloe vera, but it's no, it's hyaluronic, Ooh. hyaluronic aloe water. Okay, enriched with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. So that's that. Lovely. And I'm using this Bliss Spa Toner Serum. Did you know the founder of Bliss yeah. is also the founder of Soap and Glory? No. And also the founder of Beauty Pie. No. And also the founder of Fit Flops. No. Yeah. I saw you do a, it's an ad for Beauty Pie. It's amazing. They're really cool, aren't they? It is amazing. So that's green. My serum is also green. Oh my goodness. Um, it's the function of beauty, like custom so serum. Um, and then my moisturizer is not green, luckily. Mine um, is though. This is my last one. <laughs> Just I a complete green crew. Love it. Yes. This is one of the nicest moisturizers I've used in ages, and I'm on my last bit today. Is it anti aging? It's, yeah, Estee Lauder. Mm -hmm. uh, Revitalizing Supreme Anti Aging Cell Power Cream. Oh, very Cram. nice. And it's very nice. So. I like to slather my skin in oils in the evening and I have this little mini of the Elemis Rose Pro Collagen Face Oil. Ooh. Except when I last stayed at Straw Top Cottage, I broke the pet. So I'm worried that there's shards of glass in it. But never mind. And, but Sorry, I feel like a liquid on abrasion. Oh, can you imagine? I'm <laughs> a vampire oh. facial. <gasps> And then I have a little mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum, which I need to top up. Are you doing I'm minis because you're travelling? Oh. Well, I just keep them in my travel makeup bag, oh. which is this lovely... Um, oh, I really love that. They're so handy. handy. They're so cute. You said I could have your tie on them. Oh, yes. I'll bring it for you next oh. time. I can't even wear my umbrella, for God. I meant to take it when I don't. Oh, it's really annoying me because I keep on to guess oh, it. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, well you need to come help. over and I guess it. it. You need to give me some dates. I asked you. Oh, look, I've got a flosser. I don't want to use it. Okay. Oh, and then where's my eye cream? Ooh. This is my eye cream. It cosmetics. And it's yellow. <laughs> Nearly, it's, yellow. it's closer to green than pink. On the rainbow. And well, actually, the cream itself is a bit pinky. My lip pinky. balm is green. That's oh, beautiful. Well, well we're going beautiful. to go to bed now. So I hope you've enjoyed today's <laughs> vlogmas. Um, Ooh, can I reveal when this is going live? This video is going live on Sunday. All I'm going to say is keep an eye on Freddie's channel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, darling. Good night.